Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mandy and today I'm going to do a really fun video and I'm going to show you guys a mixture of some of the things that I got for Christmas from my husband, my family, and I've got a load of just really fun things in this batch to show you guys today. So before I get into the video, I want to remind you guys that I have down below in the description box a link to our free Facebook group where you can come and join us. And it's a homeschool group where we all just kind of sit around and talk about um, homeschool things and curriculum and all that fun stuff all day long. It is free to you and you are welcome to join at any time. All right, so I've got a lot of really fun things in this video. You might have seen a couple of these floating around on Instagram and now I'm gonna show you guys what I got. So let, I don't even know where to start. Okay, so one of my favorite things, I love hoodies. I am such a hoodie person. My husband shopped at my favorite store and he got me this reformed hoodie that I just love. It is so soft and I'll pop a link down below to the store where he got it from. It's my favorite online store and it's got all kinds of Christian reformed stuff on there and I love that. I, almost everything on my list for him to get me for Christmas was from that store. And also from the same store, he got me a new tumbler. And I know that the, the light's kind of hitting it, but it says by grace through faith in Christ alone. And it is this really pretty mint blue color. Love this. It's my water cup. <laughs> I always have water, you know, somewhere floating around. So one of the things I want to mention about these hoodies is this is my second hoodie. I ordered an RC Sproul hoodie from them earlier this year. Their hoodies are super, super soft. I have never had a hoodie that soft and that warm before. So that was one of the reasons why I wanted another hoodie from them because of the quality that they have. He also ordered me a shirt that I just absolutely love, but it's in the laundry right now because I've been wearing it so much ever since Christmas day. So I'm sure you guys will see me wearing the shirt as well, but he got me a tulip shirt and all you reform people know the, the double meaning on tulips. So it's really pretty. I can't wait to, to show it to you guys on camera. So one of the gifts from my dad and my stepmom was a new apron. I love aprons. I don't know about you guys, but I love to cook and I do a lot of cooking stuff on my Instagram. I'll pop my Instagram down below too, but I'm always cooking over on my Instagram and I just kind of like collect aprons and I saw this one and put it on my list. And it's this really pretty watercolor apron. It's really simple, but it has a pocket, which I deem absolutely essential in my aprons. But I really, really like it. It just ties in the back, super simple. And really like this one, I really enjoy it. So I've been painting a lot, which if you follow me on Instagram, again, you guys know I've been painting a lot here lately and I've been trying to get back into the, the habit of painting a little bit every day to kind of hone my skill. One of the things that I've really been wanting was this set of Arteza um, metallic paints. They're watercolor. They're not something that I would just buy for myself every day but they were on sale and so I bought it for myself. <laughs> to me from me, right? Tell me that somebody else does that just to make myself feel a little bit better but these are all metallic paints and it has like this iridescent sheen to them that is just so lovely on white or black watercolor paper and this set has become one of the go-to's every day and it's helped me get more excited about painting again and so I have been using these so much just in my daily practice of painting. And to kind of go along with that, my husband last year, so this was actually a gift last year that he bought me, was this watercolor botanicals book. Now this, I have to explain, I had never prior to owning this book really picked up a paintbrush. So I don't, I don't know how to paint. <laughs> I'm not a painter. Um, However, this book teaches you how to paint from beginner level. 
and I've had so many questions about this book because you guys have seen some of the pages while I've been taking pictures of me painting. I kind of help, I feel like it kind of helps keep me accountable to, to kind of post on Instagram a little bit like I'm doing this, I'm learning, and I've had a lot of comments about this book. This book is beautiful. It can be a coffee table book, honestly, but it is so useful because it teaches, teaches you how to paint watercolor botanicals from like beginner all the way to painting these beautiful pictures. And I have learned how to do washes and how to trace, how to do blotting. And I'm starting to now get into the lessons where I'm painting leaves and I'm starting to get into those harder lessons. Yes, it has taken me this long to do it, but that's because I was inconsistent. So now that I'm being a little bit more consistent and now that I have these gorgeous watercolors to play with. It's kind of renewed my interest in it. So if you have ever wanted to get into painting or have always kind of just wanted to try it, seriously try out this book. I will leave a link down below to my Amazon store where I have all of my painting supplies. And you guys, this is a this is a hobby that you can get into for relatively cheap, which is something that I like about watercolors. It's a cheap hobby for, for moms to, to really kind of dabble into when you're not sure if you're gonna like something or not. There's a lot of hobbies that are really expensive. This is not one of them. Okay, so let's get into some of the other fun things. So my, another gift from my dad and my stepmom, you guys know I love the paint by numbers. This is a, one of the paint by numbers that I requested and oh, I'm so excited to get into this one. I'm in the middle of one paint by numbers already right now, so I don't want to open this one just yet. However, this one is the, um, the galaxy one and I'm really excited to start this one, especially because they rolled the canvas and I have trouble finding ones where they roll the canvas. So many times you will buy paint by numbers and they will fold the canvas in fours. And then I have to go through the trouble of turning the canvas over and putting an iron on it to get the creases out. And sometimes I can't get the creases out if the, if it's that bad. A lot of times when you, when you mount it and frame it, it'll stretch out and you won't see those creases anymore, but it bothers me when I paint it. So it's just a little irritating thing. However, this one is absolutely just very, very pretty. It's gorgeous. So I'll show you guys. This is, this is the painting here. Sorry, there's a little bit of a glare from my window over here, but this is going to be my next one. And I will probably start it thinking next month, um, just based on where I'm at with the one that I have now. If you guys would like, I, I've had a lot of questions about the paint by numbers because it is one of my biggest hobbies. You guys see it all the time on my Instagram and my social media. If you would like me to do a paint by numbers video, I will do a tutorial for you showing you how to get started in this. You do not need any skill because it's all paint by numbers. So this is actually what got me into painting was these paint by numbers. Um, I will do that for you. Just let me know down below if you guys have an interest in it. I would love to make you guys a video on just the basics of getting started, where to buy the supplies, what sellers to use, what paint brushes I use, and how you can for $10 have a hobby that will last you two months. <laughs> so just let me know, just let me know down in the comments and I would be more than happy to put that together for you. So one of the gifts from my husband was this brand new Ligonier um, reformed study Bible that is a condensed version of the big one that you guys see all the time. That is my brown one, the brown leather one. This is a condensed uh, version of it for me to take back and forth to Bible study. However, it is condensed. So the study notes in there are the condensed version. The whole Bible is in here. The condensed part I'm talking about is the notes from R.C. Sproul. So I'm a Sproul nerd. I am. I admit it. I totally admit it. But I saw that they were putting this one out for the new year and I had to have it because it's blush pink and that's my 
favorite color. I love blush pink. So I love it. And the accent color is teal. How cool is that? And the, um, the accent colors on the inside are also teal, which is kind of neat, right? Um, so every time you start a new book, it's teal. I love it. So I thought they picked out such a great color palette with this. It was one of those like, oh, I love it. I need it <laughs> type of things. I didn't really need it, but it was one of those like, I just want it. <laughs> so again, with my RC Sproul nerdiness here, I got the Prayer of the Lord book. And that was the next one on my list from RC Sproul that I wanted to read. Um, I love theology books. I got really into theology books this past year and I have been just devouring all kinds of RC Sproul books. This was one of the ones I got. And from the same store of, um, so Solo Gratia, the, um, the store where I got my, my cup and my, my sweater that I love, my favorite store. My husband also got me the Five Solas bookmarks, which I just love. I always need a bookmark. So I got a new bookmark. Or I got a new bookmark set. There was a there was a set, so it's all the five solas. And he also from that same store got me a scripture writing Bible journal. And this is really, really neat. I saw this on their website and I thought that would be just really neat to have. I write sermon notes a lot, so this is just something for me to kind of expand upon the sermon notes that I write when we go to church. And the last thing I'm gonna show off is a gift from my sister-in-law which was perfect because I got a new Bible. So she got me a new Bible cover. I saw this on Instagram and I just like kind of fangirled over it a little bit because I love botanicals. So she got this, it was on my list. I didn't even ask for it. She just, she fought, saw it on my list and she just bought it for me, which was so sweet of her. So my new Bible fits very nicely in here. And what I really like is that I can fit my new, my new Bible fits in here. Plus, my other books also fit very well inside and I can get this whole thing in there. So although it looks small, it is mighty. All right guys, so that is the lot of Christmas gifts that I wanted to show you guys. I also got a couple of other things this month that were, weren't really Christmas gifts, but they were things that I just got that were on sale. All right, so that is all I have for this video. Let me know if you guys have any questions down below. I will do my best to put the links for everything here over in the um, in the description box down below. So you guys will have links to go purchase these things if you want them. But yeah, that's all I got for this video. I hope that this was as fun for you as it was for me because this was such a cool video to do. I've been dying to show you guys some of the things that I got. I will see you guys in the next video. I hope that you have a great rest of your day.